Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be showing you how you can create a pause menu for your game using blueprints. So for those of you that don't know what a pause menu is, it's essentially a little UI screen that comes up whenever you want to pause the game, you know, you want everything to stop. And then from the pause menu, you can decide to quit to the menu or resume the match. And you know, while this is up, you can go and do whatever you want to do. You can make Toast, you can get a drink, I don't know, it's completely up to you, but most of you should know exactly what a pause menu is. So if you take a quick look at my screen, you can see a quick example of a pause menu. This pause menu was actually created by me for a little project that I'm working on at the moment. You can see that if I press resume match, it will go back in, I can move around, fly, do whatever I want to do. If I press escape, it pops up, and you know, the timers all stop working and all of that cool stuff. So that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you how to do in today's episode. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this. And from here, let's go ahead and show you how we can get started. So the first thing we want to do is think of how we can actually fire off this pause menu. For me, it's going to be oh, pressing the escape button on the keyboard, it's going to bring up this menu. So having said that, we need to go ahead and create an input for the escape button. Now we're going to use the project settings to actually do all of this. Um, it's probably best to do it this way if you're going to be working on multiple platforms where you know you might have a keyboard on your PC or on your Xbox One, you might have the start button and so on and so forth. But Anyway, if you go to the project settings and then go down to inputs, we can actually create an input that we can reference inside of blueprints. So you can see I've already created one here in the last take of the video. So to create one, just go over to action mappings, press play, uh, press the little plus button to add one and just call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it pause and then inside of the input, I'm just going to go down to keyboard and I'm going to chuck in escape. If you want to, you can create, um, you know, other key bindings for all kinds of other buttons or for different controllers. Um, for example, if you wanted it to be on the Xbox One, you might want to press the, I don't know, the menu button. It's entirely up to you. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it exactly like this. So I know now that I reference the pause button, uh, you know, it's going to work with escape or the global menu button, whatever really. So the next thing we need to do is we actually need to start adding in the event inside of the blueprint editor. So this event is essentially just going to fire off, um, you know, the functions to bring up the pause screen whenever you press the button. So I'm going to open up my third person character or whatever your player character is, just open it up, find a blank space inside of your blueprint and let's show you how to get started. So the first thing I need to do is reference that pause event. So just go ahead and type in pause and chuck it in there. So now whenever we press it, we can fire off these functions. So for us, we're just going to be creating a widget with the pause screen. If you haven't actually seen all of my previous UI videos, I advise that you go ahead and at least check out the UI uh, introduction for UMG so you can create widgets and stuff. Um, but either way, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in today's episode. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create a widget. And this widget has got to be our pause menu. We haven't created one of those, so let's go ahead and quickly create something very simple. So to create a pause menu widget, just go ahead and go to interface, user interface, widget blueprint, and call it whatever you want. For me, this is just gonna be pause and then menu. Open it up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in two buttons. The first one's gonna be for return to match, and the second one is gonna be uh, quick game. And I'm just gonna chuck these in the center. They don't look too pretty at the moment, but that's probably not important. Uh, so here we are, just drag those in just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and anchor these to the center because for whatever reason, you know, pause menus are usually in the center of the screen. So. Now we've got this, let's just go ahead and go back to our third person character, open it up and set the pause menu as the widget. Now whenever you're actually trying to put these widgets onto the screen, you need to make sure you add all of this stuff to the viewport as well. So just type in add to viewport and hook it up just like that. And then this should all work now if we press compile and if we launch it. 
So if we go ahead and press save, select it and launch it, we can see exactly what's going on. Now keep in mind we still need to make a few adjustments for uh, our pause menu, for example, we only want it to press it the first time we press, you know, escape, or only do it when it's not shown and all that cool stuff. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Um, but as of right now, I just want you to quickly test to see whether or not your pause menu comes up on the screen. And you can see that it is. And I can also go over all of these little buttons with the mouse. You can't see anything at the moment, but uh, we'll show you how to do all of that in a second. So we've got it shown on the screen now. The next thing we need to do is actually set up some conditioning so it only displays if you press it for the first time or, you know, when it's not shown already. So what we need to do then is we need to move these along and we need to use the branch node to check whether or not a condition is true or false. So just type in branch and then just add it in between these two. And now we only want it to show if the, sh if the screen is shown, uh, you know, if a screen isn't shown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new variable and I'm going to name it is screen shown. Ooh. There we are. And we're just going to drag this out, get a reference to it and hook it up to the condition. Now we don't want this to be working with true we want it to be working with false. So we only want it to show a new screen, a new pause menu if it's not shown already. So if you hook it up like that, like that, and then false into here. By default, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be false because we haven't changed it. It's gonna be untrue or false. So the next thing we need to do then is we actually need to go ahead and add in a little bit here that says is uh, set is screen shown and we're just going to make this true here and Then the next bit that we've got to do is actually Setting it to close the menu when we press the buttons and all of that cool stuff Um, but for now, I'm just gonna leave the tutorial here as it is dragging on a little bit Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode where we show you how to actually close the pause menu and uh, Yeah, also sorry one last thing actually if we go over to uh, To the end of here. We actually want to pause the game so everything stops. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, type in set uh, game paused. So now then when we actually click this uh, and we actually open up our pause menu sorry it is actually gonna pause the game we can't move around and we can't do any of that stuff. So let's just quickly go ahead and test this before we head off. Should open up any second now. While it's loading don't be afraid to go ahead and smash that subscribe and like button and uh, you know leave a comment if you need to. So now when we press escape pause menu comes up everything stopped moving, I can't move, uh, all I can do really is just work with the UI. Anyway, thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!